Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Hunter and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make one-way glass in Minecraft Bedrock or Java Edition. Just a quick disclaimer before you continue on with this video, however, this build will not work in a survival world. You need to make this in creative and you need to have command blocks enabled. It's more so meant for an adventure map or like a role play type of scenario. First thing I'm doing is making a 7 by 11 platform. I'm using stone bricks and then I'm going to split it long ways with seven blocks for light gray concrete. The other four blocks is going to go to brown concrete. The brown concrete is going to be the room where the police officer or whoever is watching the person who is under investigation inside. Obviously the block choice doesn't matter, you can put whatever uh, design or whatever. It's more so just for display purposes of how you can use this build. I just used some stairs and a slab to make the interrogation room. Obviously if you want to change the look of these rooms up, feel free to. Like once again this is just for display purposes. Now moving on to the lights, I just put like two sea lanterns in the roof for the one room and for the other room I simply just put like a line of three going across. Moving on to the brown room, as you can see I placed down a stone brick block. You want to step on that stone brick and you want to get the coordinates for there. And when you get the coordinates for that stone brick, you want to place stone brick on the bottom left of the window. And once you get both the coordinates, you want to put them together and you want to make a fill command so you want both the coordinates together uh, it doesn't matter which order I just put them in the order that I got them I'm doing slash fill with concrete zero which is just white concrete now you want to get the coordinates for the buttons this one's pretty simple you just place a stone brick or whatever block you jump on top you look at your coordinates for uh, where you're standing and once you do that you want to get the state of the block I'm doing slash test for block my coordinates dark oak button and then the state of said block so until you see in the chat that it says successfully found the block that's when you want to keep the command and put it in the command block I'm going to show you. So you simply just want to throw it in a command block, make it repeat and always active. Once you have that done, you just want to place a comparator and redstone torch like this. Redstone comparator block redstone torch. And once you have the setup for that, you want to place the command block that you had before with the fill command. You want to place that right in front of the redstone torch. So if you need to copy and paste it into another command block, you can do that. And now you got to find the coordinates and the block state for the other button. Once you've successfully found the block state again, you want to simply place down another command block, the same block formation with the comparator and the redstone torch and you want to place the same command block with the fill command, but this time you want to replace concrete with air. So the first one that I told you about should be filling it with concrete, and the second one should be filling it with air. This is an example of how it can be used. You simply walk in, press the button, walk out, go into the brown room, and then it's gone, and you can see in. You press the button, can't see out, and so forth. That's about it. Thanks for watching.